Happy dinner time, everybody. The South Dakota Mines men's and women's basketball teams return to the court tomorrow night when they host Western Colorado. The Hard Rocker women split a pair of games against Fort Lewis and Adams State last weekend, while the men dropped a pair of tight contests. The Black Hill State men and women hit the court Saturday when they host Western Colorado. The Lady Yellow Jackets head into the matchup with a strong 7-4 and four record. The BH men have won two of their last three and are now 6-7. and seven. Matthew Ragsdale is delivering a big season averaging 21 points per game. Ragsdale began his college career at Western Colorado and he'll look to deliver another big performance against his former team. I think, you know, especially for our returners who were a part of uh, two back-to-back -back Final Four seasons the last two years and that expectations that have been set for those guys, I, I think it was uh, it tested our, their patience early in the year and, and kind of tested their, their trust and their belief in what we were able to do with this group this year. Um, but I think we've kind of gotten past that, and I think we're, we're very much process-driven right now, and I think that mindset has been a huge for us um, and not getting uh, so caught up in the results and more caught up in the process and getting better each day. Let's take a look at this week's high school boys basketball rankings. Harrisburg is the number one team in double A. Mitchell and Sioux Falls Roosevelt are second and third. Watertown and O'Gorman round out the top five. To Class A, where Sioux Falls Christian and Dakota Valley are the top teams. Pine Ridge, Rapid City Christian, and Hot Springs are all receiving votes. Off the Class B, where Castlewood and DeSmet are the top squads in the state. White River and Viberg Hurley are third and fourth. Faith is receiving votes. The Rush picked up a big win last night, rolling past Fort Wayne a 4-1. to Alex Aliardi registered an assist on the first goal of the game for his 200th career ECHL point. Blake Bennett also had a nice game, scoring a goal and picking up a helper. Matt Radomski was a brick wall in net, stopping 41 of the 42 shots he faced and route to picking up the victory. Now with the win, the Rush moves into fourth place in the Mountain Division with 34 points. The same two teams will meet up front Friday and Saturday over at the Monument Ice Arena. Well, let's jump on in for another edition of Big Old Fish. And this evening, Archer Varco is our featured angler. Young Archer reeled in this 32-inch lake trout out of Deerfield. Congratulations, Archer, and best of luck in the rest of your fishing endeavors. You too can be featured on Big Old Fish. Just send us your picture by using the Submit Photos link at CodaTV.com. Make sure and give us the full name of the person who caught the fish, what kind of fish it is, how big it is, and where it was caught. Get those pictures in, and we will get you on Big Old Fish. Tonight, it's a big night for high school wrestling. The Stevens girls hosting Lakota Tech. It's only girls tonight. It's the first ever girls duel only that Stevens has uh, hosted. So it should be fun tonight. Two of the best girls wrestling teams in the state. I'll have the highlights for you back here tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock. That's a look at sports.